Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. In this video I'm going to tell you how to use box one of the features of the jetpack compost. So if you are ready and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel right now and hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. Give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched by more people and let's get started. As always here uh, we have the same structure the composable function my app and I call that function here in the set content and uh, a preview composable function and again I have called the my app inside this composable function as well let's start with adding a box here let's check uh, the features of the box as always we have the modifier and another thing content alignment let's check them starting with modifier and let me set the background color dot yellow and the size of it fill max size here we have our box let me change it to white okay the box uh, is occupied the whole uh, screen now let's add another box inside this first box and with the custom size two hundred dps and the same here two hundred fifty sorry third dp that's good okay uh as I told you in the previous videos, when we are adding a new element in the Jetpack Compose, by default it will be located in the start top of the screen. So what if we want to change the location of the box and put it in the center or bottom or something else. Uh, in the features, you saw that we have the content alignment. But I want to change the location of the second box, where I should uh, use this content alignment. The second box actually is the content of the first box. So I have to use this content alignment in the uh, uh, first box features. Like in the constructor of the first box. So here content alignment. alignment dot and these are the locations that we can store our box let's put it in the center of the screen okay we have the second box in the center of the screen but we changed its location from the first box uh, the same here let's add another box and with the modifier
with 100 dp and high 100 dp okay the green box is the third box and if i want to change the location of the green box inside this yellow box i have to use the content alignment in the second box which is the yellow box so content alignment alignment dot let's have it maybe uh, bottom center okay now let me show you another thing i'm going to add a text here With the font size 38 dot sp and as you can see the text is cropped and i don't have the second word like the police is completely disappeared here so what we can do to see this uh, text uh the size of the text the size of the box sorry that uh, we wrote here uh, will not allow the box to be like greater bigger than this size so if i delete them the box now is allowed to be expanded and it can uh, cover wrap the whole text so it's uh, something like the wrap content in the classical android system and if uh, i decrease the size of the text the box will be uh, smaller yeah and even uh, smaller and even uh, smaller depends on the size of the content so uh, as you can see uh, when we are using something like text inside the box and we don't give the uh, like uh, fixed size the box will follow the size of the content inside it but uh, when we want to change the location of the content we should go a step uh, upper and uh, set the content alignment on the let's say parent box in the higher level to change the location that was everything about the box and in the next video finally i will talk about the modifier modifier is a great feature so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button in order to have the notification about the modifier video give me a thumbs up please for this video to help uh, this video be watched by more people and if you have any question any suggestion any comment write them down please in the comment box below i will put the source codes as always in the description of this video and that's it Thank you for your time and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.